so in this short tutorial we're going to have a look at um, Visual Studio for the first time so let's first of all see where we find the program so I'm in Windows 10 uh, we've got installed here Visual Studio 2017 but let's just click on it so I start the program up uh, and it's going to come up with some prompts at the beginning ask me what sort of settings I want uh, first of all, I'm going to ignore this screen that's come up here, and I'm going to say not now, maybe later. So I don't want to sign up. This is uh, important. You've got different color schemes. I'll let you play with that if you want to change it. But the development settings, we're going to be using Visual Basic in this tutorial and some later ones. So I'm just going to say click on Visual Basic, and then down the bottom here, Start Visual Studio. And since it's the first time it's been used on this machine, in the background, it's going to install some... Um, bits and pieces of software uh, before it actually gets going. Okay, it's come up with this and uh, a particular screen on here. On the version you're using, for example, if you downloaded the uh, uh, free version, the Visual Express or what it's now called, the community version, you probably won't get this screen. It doesn't matter, I don't want it, it's just a prompt in there. Uh, whatever screens you do actually get, you can always see from the beginning we want to um, create something new so I'm just going to go file uh, new project because that's basically what Visual Studio calls each of the programs or series of programs we'll explain more of that later so I said file new project uh, Visual Studio again is setting up some templates for me um, in this screen the pop-up that you get here with new project this one's got Visual Basic installed you may have other languages I'm going to be using Visual, uh, Visual Basic um, on 2017 you've got this universal and classic, I'm just going to say classic Dex desktop and what I want is a Windows form this is all I'm going to practice and then we do, uh, I'll give you an overview of what's actually in Visual Studio so at this point I'm ready to create a basic form program um, I could give it a, a name but I'm going to do that a little later I press OK now Visual Studio knows I want uh, whatever I'm going to do, I'm going to do in Visual using the Visual Basic language but it knows I want the form so it gives me a blank form here before we go any further let's have a look at some of the options that have popped up the first one so I'm in the main design window uh, I've got my form in front of me if I'm going to put things onto the form I need something called the toolbox now my version here it's already shown but I'll just show you if you click on if you can't see well let's open it up we've got toolbox here um, I'm going to ignore that message, I'm not sure what it means. So I've got this toolbox, these are the things, the controls I can put on my form. We'll explain that later. I've got a little pin here, I'm going to pin it because I need my toolbox. So I've got a panel here with my tools, I've got the panel here with the main form. Now if in your version you didn't see the toolbox, let's close it and just do it. If I go to view at the top here, and I look down I see an option for toolbox so you can click on that and now it appears and you can pin it or unpin it I'm just going to pin it so it's actually needed here let's actually have a look at the controls we can put on a form and then um, we'll have a look at some of what these other panels do so I've got the toolbox the toolbox is a series of controls if you like things I can put on my Windows form so the program can do something it's quite a lot of them uh, let's just we're just going to put on some basic controls so I'm going to click on common controls and all we're going to do for this very simple program is we're going to put a label a text message on the form and then we're going to have a button and when the user clicks on the button we're just going to change the text for the message uh, it's just a very simple overview to start I've got a label uh, I click on it once and I'm just dragging it across in fact what I'm going to do is just resize the form it's a little large for the little simple one I do you can see I just drag the corners in I've got a label here um, since I've clicked on the label if we have a look over on this properties window here so I've clicked on label on my form there is quite a bit of technical data even just about a simple label we're not going to worry about it for the moment but you can see it's got a name which we're going to look at later in our program it's called label one um, unsurprisingly it's the first label on our form so I've got a label uh, what I'm now going to do is 
put a button on there so when they click on it we're going to change the text for the label actually hold down a moment what I want to do is put some text on the label to start with so let's put this text in so I click on the label text in other words what this label actually says to the user using our program is a property of the label if I look down in this properties window I should find one called text this is just I'm just going to type in some text here are you ready there you go I'm just putting some text in there if I click back into the form you can see instead of label one which is the technical name for it it's now got the text so when the program first starts the user sees the words are you ready let's put uh, a button on next so once again I click in my toolbox I drag the button across and I want to change it just says the default is button one as you can see I've clicked here if you look down on the bottom right the properties window is now changed it's now showing me the properties the things I can do with a button lots of things in there don't worry about those for the moment what I'm going to do is well let's let's do two things one I'm going to change the technical name of the button I'm going to put lowercase btn and the word go because I'm just going to make this a go button when I click on it the program runs btn go when we look at the code in a minute we'll see that what that actually why we actually use that and I want to change the text for the button because button one doesn't mean a lot so once again I'm looking for a property I want to change something about the button text at the moment is button one I'm just going to put go so they know when to click on it I could change the size of the text and size of the buttons and, and other things in there and fonts and whatever you'll look at those a little later on when you, you get programming and let's just make it a little bigger I'm taking a guess I've made it a large button there you go very simple program at the moment what I want you to do is pause the video uh, if you haven't already open up Visual Studio um, look at the beginning of this video to see what settings you need and then go to file at the top here and uh, what you'll do is new project and you'll set up a Windows form you may need to rewind the video and just watch the first bit up to now when you've done all that and you've got a form with a label like this and the button then come um, come back to the video and watch the next step okay so at this stage you should have um, a new project in Visual Studio and a form looking like this we're going to start putting some code in now so that when someone clicks on the button it's going to change this text label so we can just see it's working a uh, couple of things I should have mentioned or I'm going to cover now so we know the properties window if you click on any of the things in your design here you'll see that the properties window it's now changed to form because that's the whole form I click on label it's changed to label I click on button it's changed there so the property means lots of things you can do on the actual form this thing at the top here top right called solution explorer is the way we get round our project at this stage we're doing it very simple our project is just one form in a real life situation we could have many many forms that uh, are part of our project and we can click on different ones we've just got form one for the moment um, but that's enough of what we want to do what I'm going to do first of all and what you want to do next is I want you to save this the reason why we're going to save it now before we are finished is just to make sure we know where this project this program is going to be saved you go to file and you click save all looks like you've been doing one thing but Windows does a lot of things at the same time the reason why I'm going to say it is um, Visual Studio will save the projects to a default place you can see it's on my C drive we want to save this to our own area <clears throat> I'm just going to put it in a test area but you put it into somewhere where you're going to keep all your VB, VB programs from now on I'm just going to call it my first program and no spaces and I don't know I'll just put it on um, what documents I'm just going to put it here for the moment you put it you navigate to a folder where you're going to keep all your programs and that's it so I know when I look for my program I know what folder I'm going to find it in and I don't have to look around to see where it's where Visual Studio has put it in its default um, so do that now pause the program and make sure you save it so we're ready we've saved it we know where it is let's put some code in number of ways to put in code let's keep it simple for this first tutorial I'm going to double click on the button so I put my mouse on the button I double click 
And all we're going to do, we won't worry about this code for now, we're going to put in one line of code that when they click on the button it changes the text. So you're going to put exactly this in, I'm going to type label. And as you can see the Visual Studio starts prompting me for things that are called label. I know on my form the label I want to change is called label1. I then use a dot because I want to tell Visual Studio what property of the label I want to change. The property I want to change is text. And what I need to do is say, I use the equal sign, and then in quotes I'm just going to say, this is my first program. And basically when the button's clicked, this line of text should run, and what should happen is this text will be put into the label that we've got on screen. That is it. So make sure you put that into your program now. And what I'm going to do is press then this start button and Visual Studio will compile the program, create the machine code that will run it. So let's have a look. So I press start, the compilation process is happening, fingers crossed, and it's worked. Although it looks like it's part of Visual Studio, this is my form here. A uh, very tiny program as you can see. It's not actually part of Visual Studio. I could minimize Visual Studio. I'm in a Word document. It's a complete executable. And if I press go, fingers crossed, voila, the check the text changes. So that's it for this first tutorial and your first overview of Visual Studio. We'll go through some other details a little later.